So, hello all. So, finally, INICT, May 2025. Uh, so, done. So, now I just want to uh, do a paper analysis of this uh, INICT, May 2025 paper. I gathered all the data for a total 200 questions, like what are the total number of questions, subject-wise distribution, and as well as how many image-based questions were asked. And let's talk like a little bit about uh, each subject now. So, INICT May 2025 paper analysis. So now let's see here. So finally, like uh, as already we discussed in the class, like uh, INICT or NEET, whatever it may be, the hardcore topics always be medicine, surgery, pharma, OBG, and patho. This is what we always tell. These are the five pillars in both INICT and NEET PG. As usual, the same thing again repeated here, maximum number of questions from these subjects. But apart from those subjects, apart from those, we have got like many questions from microbiology, almost like 16 questions we have got. Again, from pediatrics too, we have got 11 questions. And from physiology, we have got 13 questions. This is like a second uh, highest number of questions we can tell. So as already we know, uh, INICT, they always focus more on basics, like first year and second year subjects. You can see it here, first year and second year, these are the, this box, like majority of the questions were there. Majority of the questions were there from first year and second year. Let's start from, like, let's talk a little bit about each subject now. So here, this anatomy. So finally, we have got like in anatomy, 10 questions we got in those 10, like five or the image-based sessions, image-based questions. I can see in that images, like it's almost like three questions, three questions ever, like a skull images. He focused on something and he asked what is the uh, point of origin or like some zygomaticus, a uh, uh, thing part, muzzle. So all those things were asked. I can see that one and one question from this endoderm, ectoderm, derived part, those things I could see. And histology too, and physiology as usual. Uh, Thirteen questions I can see: visual gyrus reflex, Frank starring. So all the basic concepts, all the concepts. Then biochemistry, lots and lots of enzymes, and again lots and lots of like genetic related parts, northern blot, western blot, all those like for what DNA, RNA, all those things. And one question about that zwitterion, uh, the glycine, a uh, titration part zwitterion. One graph he has given. And in pathology, we have got like a 12 questions in pathology in those two images, two image-based questions. And I can see one is a ovarian part and second one, I can see breast cancer one. So those two are the image-based, histological image-based things which I could form. And then coming to this pharmacology, we'll talk in detail about pharmacology. I can tell pharmacology are very tricky questions. They are like, instead of single options, they were like many questions. I can tell some out of 20 questions in pharmacology, around 18 to 20 questions in pharmacology, they were around like 10 questions. They were like multiple answers. So it's not like single answer. They were like multiple answers were there. We'll discuss in detail about uh, pharmacology uh, in the recall session. Uh, and then coming to micro, in micro, in those 60 questions, five were like uh, image based things. And in those Things also in those 16 also I can see I could see like almost like four questions where like direct name a test so this test is used for what bacteria so those are the questions I could see almost like three to four questions where such type of questions and again all the rickets cell diseases all the these uh, what you call uh, vectors that was I think match the following that was the question asked in the exam and then coming to forensic nine questions like no uh, image basic things again ENT five questions and off all as usual for the past two years they are giving more questions in off all including eight uh, total eight questions including two image based questions from off all and PSM as usual we know there is like 11 questions from PSM it always uh, like uh, dominates in both NEAT as well as uh, uh, INICT so here in these 11 questions I could see almost like a two questions, two or three questions were from programs and like uh, two or three questions from calculations. But that's what I could feel. Uh, two questions like a programs they were asked and two or three from calculations. They have asked calculations. Predominantly, he focused on these biostatistics formulas. I could see again uh, two or three questions were from these biostats. 
right and then medicine surgery as usual there are many questions here medicine almost around 20 like it's a combination of uh, uh, like pathology pharmacology and everything but as i have to keep I, I in one subject so i took a call and i get 20 questions for medicine and 23 questions from surgery in surgery also i could see five image based things five image based in those 23 questions like as uh, i mentioned before here we can see two TNM stagings in surgery. One is from breast and second one is that colonoscopic adenocarcinoma like with mucosal involvement without lymph node involvement. What is the stage? I think in breast that is T4B, I think so. So this is what uh, a TNM staging with a uh, uh, surgery part. Um, coming to ops gyne, I think in surgery they have asked a few questions like a couple of questions on investigation of choices, I think so especially the ureteric stones and uh, they were like uh, one question like uh, appendicitis that score question was there so few questions and then coming to this ops gyne 13 questions including one image based question and pediatrics 11 questions were there including one image based thing i think that is chest x-ray i think so chest x-ray question and orthopedics, five direct questions, no email, this nothing was asked from orthopedics, like direct questions were there. I think only one clinical basic question remaining all are, all are direct questions as per my observation. And dermatology, five questions among those. Obviously, in derma, they will be giving uh, image based in those five, three questions were image based questions. And in anesthesia, they gave one question. It's like anesthesia and pharmacologist where we can come and he has asked the question, neuromuscular uh, blockers, uh, what is the reversal agent? Generally, we vecuronium, rogoronium, we go for sugamadex, but in option sugamadex is not there, so we go for a neostigmine part. And then radiology, seven questions. And this radiology is a combination of uh, this medicine, surgery, so the combination of this part, so I, based on the question, I took a, a call and I gave seven questions for radiology. Obviously, predominantly all are image based questions. And in psychiatry, here have five questions. In those five questions, I could see one uh, EEG question I could see. And as in pharmacology class, I always tell cannabis. Cannabis is the one which is like, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, now, uh, recently, uh, uh, like we, that drug we are using, that what recreation drug that we are using for medical, medicinal purposes. Now, lots and lots of research is happening on for the past uh, two years, I think. So, it, almost like every alternate degree is giving one question on cannabis and same thing happened here. Almost two questions were there in the options like cannabis. Like I could see one question like a psycho uh, active agent which produces a rapid antidepressant effect like in that question, cannabis. And there is, again, I could uh, I could remember like one more question about cannabis to like almost two questions about cannabis where they from psychiatry part so this is what our uh, analysis of INICT May 2025 so based on the subject and their uh, approximate number of questions I can't say this exact number of questions because many questions they overlap with uh, uh, one another so like uh, approximately these are the number of questions which we got and so in out of 200 totally we got like a 31 around image based questions 31 it's like almost around 15 percent of the questions out of 200 it's like around 15 percent 15 percent of the questions are like image based questions and again uh calculations questions like a problematic one there are around five in those five i could see one from physiology and then uh, one from the, I think one question gate uh, we got from PCR, I think. So number of cycles on PCR, something it is there. So PCR and then surgery, uh, like a PSM, PSM part. So I think these are the things they have given in calculations. Uh, uh, as, from, uh, as can I, uh, I remember. And then histology that including both anatomy and uh, pathology total around five. Uh, questions five images were there from uh, histological part as i mentioned already told tnm staging there were like a uh, two questions like one breast and one adenocarcinoma again i could see in genetics in genetics around like a six to seven questions were there like predominantly asking about a genetics part Gen that includes pathology genetics uh like uh, uh again this part like biochemistry genetics almost like six to seven questions were there and then Every year, he generally he'll ask one question about ECG, but this year also he has asked, but it's not an image based question, it's like a descriptive part. Descriptive part one e ECG and one EG, both are not image based, both are descriptive type uh, they have given. So, 
uh, as per the information which we have, this is what uh, analysis of INICT May 2025. As usual, the dominant subjects, patho, pharma, and medicine, surgery, OBG part. And as apart from that, that will be the dominant part in both INICT as well as NEET PG. But here, as we know, in INICT, these first year and second year subjects, first year, second year, they clearly they show the domination part. They showed the domination part. So that's all. Uh, about analysis of uh, INICT May 2025. Thank you all.